only as it is my God's grace that you are now still alive, but you want to put God first in all you do, as I want to sit in all the God love is good in the world about you. As I want to stand on the Lord and you want to walk by faith, not by sight, you want to live by faith, not by sight. As in Jesus Christ, He is the way, the truth, and the life. As we're going to speak about the narrow way. Now, in order to walk in this narrow way, you need to live for the word of God. So all of this is in Matthew 7 verse 18 to 14. It says, Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And they are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. And which, and there are a few who will find it. Now, the gate is broad and leads to destruction, which is hell. People tend to want to go to the easy route in life and live in sin, but God says, Yea, for him, because he died for you. And pay the price of your sin and my sins, and he has the choice, you know, to live for Christ, you know, as he died for us, and pay the price of our sins that we may be made right with God. So the gate is narrow, and difficult, and difficult is the way which leads to life. Now, to, in order to live for the word of God, you need to live according to the word of God. You know, which may be difficult, but you need to abstain from sin, abstain from things that go against the word of God, and fully live a righteous life, fruitless 